Part 1. White Clouds. Blue Sea Moon. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. As the sun grows stronger and the nights grow ever shorter, the Blue Sea Star returns to the sky once more. Believed to be the Goddess's home, her followers look to the star and commence celebrations of her rebirth. On the grounds of Garag Mach Monastery, a grand ceremony is held in honor of this much anticipated event. Every true follower of the Church of Saros is sure to be in attendance. Thanks. So, our task for this moon is to patrol and guard the monastery, to help put a stop to that assassination plot. The knights will certainly have their hands full protecting Lady Rhea, and perhaps our enemy is counting on that. Please, elaborate. Why would Lord Lenato be carrying around a secret note with an assassination plot written on it? Isn't it possible he hoped to monopolize everyone's attention with this alleged plot in order to distract from his true aim? Maybe they're after the treasure vault. <gasps> There's also lots of valuable stuff in the library and Professor Hanneman's quarters. True. The monastery undoubtedly houses many weapons that rival even the hero's relics. Whatever their aim, we can't allow any harm to come to the ladies of the monastery. I mean, what would I do with my spare time? You mean to say we should search the monastery, try to find what the enemy is truly after? Yes. And we should be prepared to fight them as well, should it come to that. I wouldn't mind getting in some training, just in case. A secret meeting, Professor? Oh, we haven't been introduced. I am Shamir. Shamir is one of the Knights of Seros, and this young man here is... I work for Lady Rhea, and I'm Shamir's apprentice. Oh, the name's Cyril. Yep, I help Lady Rhea with all kinds of stuff. I've got to protect Lady Rhea, so that's why I've got to learn all I can from Shamir. Cyril adores Rhea. That aside, if you need anything, ask. A new path to tread. Thank you. 
I must continue. Did you know that on the last day of it's professor? But if you're here to let enemy's aim lies elsewhere. We had better discern their true intent quickly. As I see it, our best option is to explore every inch of the monastery. We should also speak to everyone here. Let's plan to compare notes once you've got a lead. Will you do me a favor? been in town procuring some supplies for flame. Nothing out of the order. I have something to ask of you. that someone even I hear that <laughs> I'm preparing for potential battle during my patrol by making sure I have <laughs> I know well what's the matter even the gut they not I have a request Terrible this place so many. In but well, we have a lot. Professor, here's an idea. On the day of the hope that it's sealed. Professor, professor, given. <laughs> oh, it is only. May I sit? Hmm. 
there are new, but sometimes in a way. Professor, I would do you know the only right. Hey, I got a favor to ask. <sighs> do you know what I say? Anything that. Thanks for your help. So, there is something that the church values above all else. On the day of the rite, it will be open to the public. That will make gaining entry far easier than usual. You know the place of which I speak. Yes, that is the most likely possibility. We do not know their objective. But there is a good chance that our enemy is planning to target the Holy Mausoleum. Next time, bring your f <laughs> Next time, bring your friend. Next time, bring your friend. Glad I asked you. You're skilled.
Might you have come looking for me because you were worried about my safety? I am aware of the possibility. Magic books again? Has anyone ever told you that you're pretty cute when you're studying? Sorry, Sylvain, but I'm trying to think right now. Could you keep quiet for a bit? How can you stay focused reading a book that thick? With such small print? Is some of that text upside down? If I use the formula in this line here, the magical energy should... No, that's not right. You're even cuter when you're working through a difficult problem. Sylvain, I'm serious. Please be quiet. Uh, hang on. Look at the third line. You've got the formula wrong. I said the... Oh, you're right. How did you know that? Well, I mean, it's written right there. Most people wouldn't be able to grasp this formula just by glancing at it. Have you read this book before? Nope, this is the first time. Okay, now that I look at it... Wow, this book makes things way more complicated than they need to be. Hmm. And what's your take on this part here? It's just describing another application for the same formula. <laughs> this is pretty easy. You know, you're actually kind of amazing. I've been studying magic for a while now, but even I have trouble with this stuff. You act like all you do is mess around, but are you actually working really hard in secret? Nah, hanging out with girls is way more fun. I guess I just pick this stuff up somewhere. Life is short, Annette. If you waste it working hard, it'll be over before you know it. Get out in the world. Have some fun. <sighs> That's easy for you to say. You're strong and smart without even trying. It's not fair. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. No, I was just thinking you're pretty cute when you're sulking. You know that? <sighs> what is wrong with you? Hey, uh, I just got lucky with that stuff in the book. I'd normally never be able to outsmart you. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here and leave you to it. Got lucky, huh? I'm not so sure about that. Well, that does it. It might be tough, but I won't accept second place. Let's go, me. I can do this. I'm gonna finish this whole book before sundown. <laughs>
So... Decent cook. Cook? Oh, definitely. I thought this was... All right, that's enough praise. Hey, that was useful.
I have a question. I see. It is not guaranteed to be singing is Lend me your power. All right. We did well enough. Am I starting to master this? I can do better now. It's all becoming clearer. Am I making progress? Practice yields results. Each new experience is an asset. I'm getting the hang of this.
It's in my grasp. Professor. Hello, Professor. Do you have a moment? Well, I have this book of battle tactics that I borrowed from one of the knights. There's one part that I just don't understand. Do you think you could explain it to me? Great, thank you so much. It's about this diagram here. I don't get why the knights are grouping up in that forest there. I just can't see the advantage to a formation like that. Yay, I finally get it. You really are a great teacher. Way. I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> I just love learning new things. That's why I came to the Officers Academy. I want to learn magic, battle tactics, martial arts, and, and, well, all kinds of stuff. I'm learning more now than I have in my whole entire life. Speaking of, I'd better go visit the library for some research before magic practice, which is just before sword training. It's just not possible. I always find it's more tiring to laze around doing nothing. I've never been any good at that. I have to have something to do. Like, on my days off, I need to get up early and take care of the cleaning first, or I just can't relax. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm so glad you agree. You'd be surprised how rare it is to find people like us. Mercy never sets foot outside her room on her days off. I don't get that girl sometimes. Not to mention... Oh, wait. Oh, no! I was supposed to be on cooking duty today! Ugh, I completely forgot! Sorry, Professor, but I have to run. Thanks again for your help! Ah! Who put this stupid barrel here?! Perfect timing, Professor. If you don't mind, I have a favor I'd like to ask of you. It's in regard to sword training. Not for myself, but... Well... To be honest, I've been teaching swordsmanship to the orphans at the monastery for a while now. Some of them saw me sparring with the knights one day. They started pestering me to teach them. They were so earnest... I couldn't help but oblige. There's much I wish to show them, but due to my own studies and training, I'm afraid my time is rather limited. 
Which brings me to my favor. Your swordsmanship is unmatched. I hate to ask this of you, but would you consider lending me a hand? Thank you, truly. I am in your debt, and I always repay my debts, I'll have you know. All of these children lost their families and homes to war or illness. This may sound a bit arrogant, but I feel it's my responsibility to help them. I lost my parents without warning, too. In that way, we're the same. In Dusker, I lost my father, stepmother, and closest friends. I didn't have many allies at the castle after that. In truth, I had only to do for companionship. I once had people I could confide in. Family, friends, instructors, even the royal soldiers. But they were all taken away from me four years ago. Ah, but there were those outside the castle walls I was close to, such as Rodrigue. <laughs> Pardon my rudeness. I meant Lord Rodrigue. He is my father's old companion and the father of Felix. On the occasions he would visit the capital, he'd take me out hunting or on long horse rides. While Dudu is like a brother to me, Rodrigue is more like a second father. It might sound ridiculous, but he's the kind of man I hope to become one day. Someone who helps others. Someone who can reach out and save a lost soul. Oh, please, accept my apologies for boring you with my life story. In any case, don't forget your promise, Professor. I'm counting on you. Let's get this over with. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. How do you like that? I'm getting much better. Hey Felix, you free? You don't look very busy. Let's go find some girls to chat with. Chat with them by yourself. You're interrupting my training. Hey, come on. Don't talk like that. How long have we known each other? Long enough, if you ask me. We only know each other because of our parents' friendship. I didn't have a say in it. Is that how it went? Huh. I remember it more like you always following me around. Whenever there was something wrong, like you lost your brother, or you fought with Dimitri, you'd come crying to me. You were so meek and pure back then, cute even, like a baby brother. And that's enough. What? I said that's enough! Hey, sorry. I just came to see if you wanted to pick up some girls. I didn't mean to get on your nerves. Look, you've been getting on my nerves for years. I've tried to be patient with you, but I'm tired of holding my tongue. You're reckless in your personal affairs and in battle, and you're always prattling on about women. Well, if a man sees a pretty girl, he can't just let her pass by without commenting. That's just rude. You're insatiable. Do you ever stop? Certainly not to practice your sword technique. You always skip training. And you never consider how your actions hurt others. Or how you hold them back. That's never my intention. Come on. Y you know me better than that. I'm not really... Look, if that's the impression I've given you, then I'm sorry. Hmm. Good 
Good morning, Your Highness. Getting in some early training, huh? Oh, it's not too terribly early. And what about you? <laughs> oh, I'm just going for my morning walk. Hey, maybe you'd like to join me. It's a great way to start the day. Morning walk? <laughs> Funny. Gustav always kept the same habit. You really do remind me of your father, Annette. I hear that a lot. Father was always busy with work, so he wasn't around much. But when he was home, he'd often take me with him for his walks. Annette, something's been weighing on me. Something I've done terribly wrong. Your father, he worked tirelessly. I don't know if I ever saw him take a rest. I feel as though, in a way, we stole him from you. I'll admit it was a bit lonely growing up. But I understand. Father loved his work. No one ever doubted that. Actually, I've been thinking recently that I'd like to talk to you more, Your Highness. Oh? Any reason in particular? Father was a man of few words, both with myself and my mother. But sometimes he would tell me about you. So, you don't really feel like a stranger to me. In a way, it's like I've known you for a long time. Almost as though you're my big brother. Your big brother? Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I let that slip out. That was rude of me. <laughs> no, nonsense. I promise you, I don't mind at all. It's certain that my days would have been filled with more fun if I'd had a little sister like you. What kind of things did Gustav tell you about me? I'd love to hear more on this topic. Do you really want to know? Well, for one, he used to tell this story about when you were a child, and... You know what? Never mind. I have a bad feeling about where this is going. How about you forget we had this talk all together? And don't mention it to anyone. I like it. It's Maybe.
okay? You know, it's kind of... Seen that thing before in my life? Okay. I hope. 